A man stumbles out of a bar. He's holding um he's holding a bottle of sake and he's on the third floor. He drops it. It rolls down the roof and uh then it spills into the gutter. And it slowly um, runs down the gutter into um, a trough. And the young Persian cat um, drinks from this water trough. And then as the cat is stumbling around in the dark in the middle of Tokyo... He's just, you know, he's moving sideways and uh, backways and forways, you know, like any like any drunk cat. And uh, so he uh, bangs his head on a empty can of tuna that was left in a marketplace. And, uh, he ends up with this empty can of tuna on his head, and he's walking past in kind of like a, you know, zigzaggy line, and he ends up moving past a man who's come from the West who is reciting haikus, um, and playing a mandolin and try, trying to make them lyrical. And, uh, you know, he, he bumps out into the street and then there he just, you know, he hits traffic and wham, you know, it's foot traffic, but, you know, a young girl um, taps him with her foot and she, you know, she notices that he's playing with her shoelaces and he looks up at her with these just, these gorgeous eyes and she says, Mommy? And the mother looks down at the daughter and she's like, he, but he's sick. And, uh, you know, we can't take him home. And so as this is going, you know, as this is playing out, there is a young couple who are sitting at a diner in France and they are eating um, baguettes and of all things you know and they you know they're about to catch their um, 4.30 um, plane to Tokyo and so the uh, mother takes the uh, girl with the cat um, home, you know, because she feels sorry for the poor thing, you know, oddly, but, you know. Uh, and so she, the, the little girl gives the cat a bath and just beautiful her um and she you know she gives the cat a ball of yarn and lets him play you know on the mattress and the futon and uh so anyways um back to the couple you know, they just, um, 
got on this plane, they went to Tokyo, and as they're landing in the airport, you know, we come, you know, full stop, and they're, they're in the city, and they're walking around, and they see, um, you know, this particular, um, cartoon that they, you know, anime cartoon that they think is reminiscent of their life and the life they wish to have with um, their new daughter who's living with a foster mother. And so, um, she is... Um, you know, it's that same girl, and as they're, um, running through, as they're looking at it, it's slice of life, and, um, you know, it, it says, um, the cat with the hot tin hat, um, which is kind of an odd name for a slice of life anime. So they get and they walk into um, the room where this girl is um, waiting with, who actually isn't her mother, is um, the foster mother. And so um, they find out that they're not only adopting this girl, but they've got a new cat. And so, um, I just thought that was a nice slice of life, um, kind of picture. And, and they, uh, they go back home to Paris and, you know, they're eating at that same cafe except with the little girl and the cat, and um, that's it.